Uh, hi everyone, in this video lecture I'll try to explain the morphology of the permanent mandibular canine. The permanent mandibular canines are very much similar anatomically to the maxillary canine, except that the mandibular canine ha are less bulky as compared to the maxillary canine. The mandibular canine they erupt at the age of 9 to 10 years and the root completes at the age of 12 to 14 years. This tooth is narrower mesiodistally as compared to the maxillary canine. Therefore, the crown it appears longer. It has a single pointed cusp tip and two slopes. The shorter one is the mesial cuspal slope and the larger one is the distal cuspal slope. The from the mesial aspect, the outline of the crown is straight, while from the distal aspect, the outline is slightly rounded. The cervical line has a semicircular outline towards the root apex. The, the curvature of the root is in the distal direction. The lingual surface of this tooth is comparatively smooth as compared to the maxillary canine. These are the marginal ridges. This one is the mesial marginal ridge and this one is the distal marginal ridge. So these ridges are also not very well developed. This one is a lingual ridge and this ridge is only visible near, near the cusp tip. The cingulum is also not very well developed. The lingual portion of the root is narrower, so you can see the part of the mesial side of the root and the distal side of the root from the lingual aspect. The crown is triangular in shape. The curvature of the cervical line is more and it is towards the cusp tip. The surface of the root is smooth from the mesial aspect. The sizal portion is thinner labiolingually. The curvature of the cervical line is it is less from this aspect. You can see a developmental depression on the root surface from this aspect. The labiolingual dimension of the crown is more as compared to the mesiodistal dimensions. The cusp tip is more inclined towards the lingual side from the incisal aspect. 